Good day and welcome to our message of hope for today. The message that I have for you comes out of Ephesians 5, verse 1 and verse 2, and it reads as follows. And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, a offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. This message gives us a message of hope that you and I through God's sacrifice, Jesus who died on the cross for our sins can live in Christ. We have hope that through Jesus' resurrection, you and I can also inherit eternal life and spend eternity with God in heaven. We can also be overcomers, overcomers of sin. Friends, but it gives us then this challenge that you and I need to become imitators like children. Imitators of who? Imitators of Christ. You and I need to mold our characters and form it to divine character. This will take some time. The process of sanctification is not an immediate thing. It is something that comes with practice. You and I are in this process, this process of sanctification, the process of living a life according to the will of God. And there is many challenges. It is difficult. You and I are faced with this as Satan is confronting us with temptation each and every day. Our, our selfish human nature wants what it wants. And it is sometimes very, very difficult. Alan White puts us that you and I are going to fight this battle each and every day day of our lives. But through Christ, we can become overcomers. We can become conquerors. A little bit of hope that I want to give you today. If you read through the book of James, you'll find that temptation that Satan puts in front of you is only that of which yourself is tempted. Which means that if we put it into a perspective, if I walk into a shop and I see that chocolate, I do not have money, but I'm really less for that chocolate. And I'm confronted with the idea of taking the chocolate. I'm putting it in my pocket and walking out the store. It is still my choice. I made the decision. Satan might have put that, that hint, that idea of taking the chocolate, of stealing it, putting that hint into my mind. But friends, you and I make a decision to actually act upon that thought. You and I are making that decision. This gives us hope because it means that you and I can decide to be different. You and I have to make a choice to be different. Now, Satan is not in control of our actions. You and I are. We can take control of our lives. We can take control of our thoughts and our actions and move into a sanctified manner. Go into this process. It won't be easy. Then God, and I want to give you a little bit of inspiration and hope today. When you are confronted with temptation, if you are confronted with this idea, friends, turn to God, open your Bible and read a scripture. But if you cannot do that, close your eyes in prayer, pray to God, pour your heart out to him saying, God, I am confronted with this temptation, with this issue please intervene, then claim the promise that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can go overcome anything through Jesus Christ who gives me strength. And friends, when he ascended to heaven after being resurrected, he told his disciples that I'm leaving you a helper. And this helper is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit's function is to convict us of sin. And friends, pray that prayer that, that God must show you the sin in your life that you can overcome it so that you can form part of this process of sanctification, living into according to God's will, becoming imitators of Christ like children. Friends, we know as children are running around, they are imitating what they see. Friends, what do you see? Do you look towards God? Are you imitating him in your daily lives? Friend, through Christ's help, you and I can be overcomers. You and I can be con conquerors, just like Christ is conquering for us. Friends, then we can look forward to that blessed day, that beautiful day when Jesus is going to descend on the clouds of heaven above and that we can spend eternity with him. Friends, this is a challenge. Let's become imitators of Christ. Let's become overcomers. I hope you have a very good day, and God bless. Amen.